Hi, welcome. What we're going to do today is we're going to use shapes in Illustrator. So this is the first time we should be opening Illustrator other than to check around and look at the interface. But today we're going to actually learn how to use some of the interface. So, as you can see, I have Illustrator open. If you don't have Illustrator open, that's fine. Go ahead and open it. If you do have it open, and it looks like this, what we want to do is we want to go to File, and New. Once we go to File and New, it's going to open a box that you should see if you click on New File in your Illustrator. And you're going to see we have a bunch of recent, because I've used it a lot. We've got saved. I don't have any. Mobile preferences. It'll show you different phone types. Web, different web interfaces. Print, different kinds of paper. And then film and video. We're not going to get into any of this, really. So we can use print. And we'll use a letter. That's the standard side piece of paper. So we've got letter here. And over here, you've got your points. It's 612 points wide, 792 points in height. I'm going to change this up. We've got all these options. If you look in pixels, you can see what it would be in pixels. If you go to inches, you can see what it would be in inches. So again, 8.5 across, 11 high. So it's the size of a regular piece of paper. Our color mode is going to be CMYK color. That's great. I'm going to click Create. Okay, that's going to open your artboard. On your artboard, what you want to do, first step, is we're going to use the rectangle tool. Okay, so with the rectangle tool, if I click and drag out, it's going to create a rectangle. Now, I know it doesn't look like it because it's white here, it's white here, but this has a full fill of white. The inside color is white. So you could change the inside color by coming up here and clicking another color. Okay. You can come over here to your colors, and as long as this yellow or the top square is selected and not the bottom square, so as long as that's on top, you can change the color here. Okay, Or you can come down here, double click, and you can change the color more selectively here to different shades. All right, But right now, I'm going to leave it white. Okay. The other color option you have is the stroke. This is the outline. So it looks, there's nothing inside, so it's outlining it. It's the stroke is outlined. So you can change that color here. And if you make the stroke bigger right here, you'll see that you can see the color more visibly. So you can change it here. Again, you can go to color. And you can change it here as long as the outline is the top selected thing. So I'm going to leave it red for now. It's fine. You can do the same thing. If you come here, it's more selective with your color change it that way. So that's our first shape. We've made a shape. Now let's look at what you can do with a shape. So if I'm here and I click on it, you know, so I'm using the selection tool. That's the main tool we're going to be using today is the selection tool. Okay. I can take and edit this. If I drag these little boxes down, it'll round off my corners. I can go all the way in to make it look like this. Come all the way out, make it look like that. All right, so that's generally pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this shape, and we're going to make a basketball court. Okay, so we're going to drag the shape out, and it's going to be just slightly less big than the paper. Okay, so you see right now I have my square outline, and what I want to do is I want to make my stroke white. So it can be like the out of bounds. And then I want to make my fill color uh, light brown. Okay. With this selected, I'm going to make the stroke a little bit bigger to 25 points. All right, great. Now you should have that look. So the next thing I want to do is I want to come back to my rectangle tool. Now I'm going to come up to the top and I want to drag out a piece that looks like this. Now notice, when you drag this out, it's going to be the same thickness as, this, as the shape we already have. The stroke is 25 points, the fill color is the same color. That's fine. So, now I've got my free throw lane. So what I want to do is I want to round these corners off. Uh-oh, it rounds the corners at the bottom off, too. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do Control-Z to read it with undo. 
So there's a way that you can select just these two corners, and that's with the direct selection tool, the white arrow at the top. So we click back on our shape, and then we're going to click this anchor, and hold down the shift key, and click on this anchor. And you'll notice that our two dots are highlighted here, but not here. Then I can just take and curve this in, and we're good to go. There's one end. Now, the simplest thing to do if you want to make shapes at both ends is to copy and paste it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish putting the shapes at this end, and then I'll copy and paste them to this end down here. The next shape we're going to need is another rectangle. We're going to go right up top. We're going to make it just a little bit bigger than the free throw line. No, no. I've covered up my free throw line. That's not good. That's because when you add new shapes, they stack on top of each other, like you're adding paper on top of itself. So you can't see through this shape. There's a way you can. So what you want to do is come to your fill color. You're going to click the drop down, and you want to go to none. When I go to none, it's going to allow me to see what's underneath because there's nothing inside of this square now. and All I have is a white stroke. Great. So what we want to do now is make this maybe a little bit larger and then use our direct selection tool again. I want to click on this anchor and hold down shift and click on this anchor. And you notice I get these same two dots. I'm going to round this off just like that. Now we have a three-point line. Okay, great. So, now we want to copy and paste this. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to hold down Shift to select the multiple things. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. I'm going to go to Edit, Paste. Great. Now you should notice there's some pink lines here. That's just getting it to match up to the center of things. So what I want to do is I'm going to have to spin this around. Now notice if I spin it, it can go in any angle. Okay, Sometimes your angle is going to be slightly off. You should see a little angle piece right here beside the mouse that shows you the, the number of angle, the degree of the angle that you're at. I'm sorry. So what I want to do is while it's still selected, I can hold down the shift key again, and I can turn this at 45 degree angles all the way around to make sure they're perfect. Okay, let go of the mouse and then let go of shift. Right, next, we're going to make sure we're center aligned, just like we are up top. And we're going to put it right there. And we have our second free throw and basketball set. Okay. If it's not perfectly aligned, don't worry. We're going to show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is put our half court. So what I want to do is use the line segment tool right here. I'm going to click it. I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to get as close as I can to the outline of, this, of the court. I'm going to hold down Shift to keep it flat. Now we have a half court line. Great. The next thing I need to do is make a circle. So there's two ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you both. We're going to use the rectangle tool first. Hold down the Shift key and click and drag to make a perfect square. Now, you could take this handle and pull it all the way in, and we have a circle. Great. That looks awesome. But there's another way, a simpler way. Delete that shape, and come back to the rectangle tool, and click and hold. Now you see we have rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and a flare. We want to use the ellipse tool. You're going to click somewhere up here and hold down Shift to make a perfectly proportioned circle. And when you see those lines like that were the four-way lines like that, that means they're perfect alignment, and now we have a perfect circle. So we're almost done. Next, what you want to do is you want to click all of your pieces. Click this free throw line. Click this three-point line. Click our half-court circle. Click our half-court line our other three-point line, and our other free throw line. And you'll notice you have some different settings up here. This setting right here is the horizontal align to the center of the artboard. So I want to click it, and everything aligns perfectly in the center. 
the next thing I want to do is make sure I click this and I click this and select them together using the shift key and I want to use vertically aligned to the center. Okay, that's going to put them directly in the center of the artboard. Once you have that, you're done. And here's how you're going to save this file. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Export As. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you save this as bball underscore court underscore last name. Okay, and it's going to be a .png, a portable network graphic. Okay, we're going to click export. So this PNG option will come up. So all these options are fine. Being transparent is fine as well. So we're going to click OK, and it's ready to turn in. Wherever you save that file, you'll find it as a picture, and then you can turn it into Canvas under the assignment for the basketball court. It should be the second assignment for Illustrator. All right, guys. Hope you learned something. Thanks.